Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss verification of superposition theorem. Let's start our session. In this one, first we we'll deal the things with theoretical calculations, followed by practical session. The statement of superposition theorem here is: it states that in any linear active bilateral network containing two or more sources, the response in any element is equal to the algebraic sum of responses. Asked by individual sources acting alone, only one source will present at a time, while the other sources are non-operative or else inactive. That is, while considering the effect of individual sources, other ideal voltage sources and current sources in the network are replaced by short circuit for voltage and open circuit for current across the terminals. This theorem is valid only for linear systems. This theorem is not applicable for power calculations. This one is a statement here. Yeah, this one is one of the example I have chosen in order to go for a both theoretical and practical. Yeah, we have chosen 50 ohms, 25 ohms, 18 ohms, and we are having some two sources: 50 volts voltage source and 10 volts voltage source. Our intention is we have to calculate current across this particular 18 ohms. Real stuff. Observe the things. In order to solve this one, I would like to apply some mesh analysis. This one is one mesh, and this one is second mesh. This mesh name is mesh number one, mesh number two, and the current carrying across this uh, first mesh here is I one, and this one is I two. I would like to know those unknowns. Then the current uh, traveling across this 50 ohms here is I one. Current flowing across 18 ohms here is difference of these two currents. It's the branch existing in between two meshes, now. This one is 25 ohms. Is nothing but I2 current. Just I'd like to apply KVL in combination to the part of Ohm's law for mesh number one. Yeah. Just observe when the current travels from positive to negative, it's just a drop across resistance, now. Minus 50 into I1. Same. Again, drop minus 18 into difference of these currents here is I1 minus I2. Again, travels like this. Minus to positive, it's plus 15 is equal to zero. Algebraic sum of all the voltages in a closed path is equal to zero. That law may be called as KVL. V equal to IR is nothing but Ohm's law. I observe these two things in this equation, and I can segregate this equation may be called as equation number one. In a similar fashion, try to apply Ohm's law for mesh number two. Same thing, minus 25 I2, and the voltage there is. Minus 10, and this one is minus 18 into. While referring to the mesh 2, the I2 current is greater than I1. That it is difference of this current is I2 minus I1 is equal to zero. So I will get those things, and this one is equation number two. Solving those two equations, we get the values of I1 current. It's approximately 0.17 amperes. I2 current here is 0.15 amperes magnitude. Thus, minus is nothing but direction of current flow is opposite for our convention. Current across 18 ohms here is difference of these two currents now I1 minus I2. It's approximately 0.33 amperes when both these sources are in activation mode. In order to verify for our superposition theorem, I just want to consider only one voltage source at a time. If there occurs any other source, make it inactive. Here we are having some 10 volts voltage source. I'd like to make it to inactive mode. That it is short circuit. This one is a new circuit. We are going to solve for superposition theorem. Same thing. Two meshes. I1 current. I2 current. Across each resistor, we observe there is a drop. Same apply KVL in combination to the Ohm's law for mesh number one. Minus 50 I1 minus 18 into I1 minus I2 plus 15 is equal to zero. First mesh equation. Followed by second mesh equation here in combination to the Ohm's law. Minus 35 I2 minus 18 into I2 minus I1 with reference to second mesh now. This one is a second mesh equation. Solving these two equations, we get the value of I1 0.24, I2 0.103. But we have to find out the things across 18 ohms. That it is difference of these two currents. If and only the condition 15 volts is only active mode. No other source is in the active mode there, and we get some value here as 0.13 amperes. 
and the next one, I just want to consider other voltage source at a time, 10 volts, and that 15 volts is in the inoperative mode. That it is short circuit. Same equations for the first mesh, second mesh. For the first mesh, minus 50 I1, minus 18 into I1 minus I2, there is no source now, is equal to zero. Second mesh equation, minus 25 I2, minus 10, minus 18 into I2 minus I1, is equal to zero. These are the two mesh equations we observe here. Solving those two equations, we get the values of I1 current and I2 current. Difference of those two currents will give us information of current flowing across 18 ohms. It's approximately 0.2 amperes. Finally, we observe one thing. When both the sources are acting, I know the value there is 0.33. But individual sources that it is only 15 volts is in the active mode, 10 volts is in operative. That it is, we just uh, short circuit the 10 volts. In a similar fashion, 10 volts is in the active mode, 15 volts is in non-operative mode. We get these two values, just algebraic summation. I just want to add these two things. We get the value of 0 0.33 amperes there. And so we can verify superposition theorem. Same thing, we just want to go for the part of tactical session. 